It's autumn on the Adams River in British Columbia, and something truly remarkable is about to take place. The Sockeye Run. Every four years, a dominant run of Sockeye make the long journey back home. Responding to a biological clock set at birth, Millions of sockeye suddenly leave the Pacific Ocean and make the arduous trip upstream to find the perfect spawning grounds. Using a keen sense of smell, they find their way back to the exact stream of their birth. A trip that may take over 20 days and span thousands of kilometers. The salmon are exhausted as they reach the final leg of their journey. What makes this return journey truly incredible is that they have not eaten since they re-entered fresh water. They are starving to death. The salmon have become bright red and developed hooked jaws, a result of their body being slowly consumed to fuel their migration and to develop eggs and sperm. Amassing at the mouth of the river, the salmon begin to pair up and move out of the pools seeking prime spawning habitat upstream. They are looking for abundant gravels and fast-moving water, both essential for laying eggs. When the female has chosen the best spot, the male begins his dramatic courtship by moving alongside the female, where his entire body quivers as he moves from one side to the other. The female begins to build a nest called a red by swimming on her side and flapping her tail repeatedly to create a depression. During this process, males will compete for unattended females and will fight to protect their mates. Biting and slamming into other competitors, these interruptions can cause the digging to take several hours. When her nest is deep enough, she releases a pheromone indicating the eggs are ready to drop. As the eggs drop, the male releases sperm to fertilize the eggs. The two will move upstream and repeat this process up to four times, laying 500 to 1,000 fertilized eggs in each nest. The entire spawning process will have taken 8 to 10 days, and by the end of it, both partners are completely exhausted and will die. This massive return of salmon has an enormous impact on the surrounding ecosystem. The eggs and the bodies of adults will provide food for many animals, give nutrients to tiny organisms that will eventually become food for the hatching sockeye in the final spring, and will even provide nutrients to the surrounding soils and plants. In the coming summer, millions of sockeye fry will move downstream to grow in the nearby lake until they are ready to move out to the ocean. Perils await them, as they will dodge threats from predators, fishing vessels, and changing weather conditions. Only a fraction will survive to spawn. time, they will return here at the end of their lives. Soon to die, they bring new life and continue this remarkable